Today I will show you how to modify a servo for continuous rotation. I started out by removing the four screws that hold the servo together. I am using the Futaba S3003. Each servo is a little different, so the steps might change a bit too. And then I removed the bottom cap. I took out all of the internals and searched for the middle point on the potentiometer. Once I got it about right, I just put a little drop of super glue to keep it from moving. Then I just set it aside while I waited for it to dry. Now up to the top part of the servo. This is where all the gears are stored. I took out the top and the main gears. And as you can see, there's a little stop that keeps the gear from rotating fully. I'm going to snap that off with a pair of pliers. Once that was off, I used the file on my multi-tool to file it down flat so it could spin freely. I used a servo horn to hold it down to make this process easier and faster. And then I just put the gears back in the same order that I took them out. And as you can see, it can rotate freely now. Once the glue in the potentiometer was dry, I just used the same pair of pliers to snap the shaft off. This way, the potentiometer won't spin. That means that it cannot output feedback. Then, I just put it back in its case and closed it up. The mechanical part is done, it spins freely, but now onto the software. What we need to do now is find the middle point on the servo. This will help us keep it steady and without moving. For this we will write a very simple code on the Arduino. Connected to the Arduino I just grab the white or signal wire on the servo and plug it into digital pin 9 on the Arduino. Then ground on the Arduino to ground on the servo and 5 volts on the Arduino to 5 volts on the servo. This is a quick code that basically tells the servo to move to the angle 85. In 85 because it's the one that usually comes up with all the servos that I have modified. I would recommend for you to take a screenshot or just copy paste it into your Arduino software. Then I just upload it to the board and let's see how it works. As you can see the servo is moving really quickly so let's try a different number. Maybe 88. Now the servo is moving slower so let's pump it up a bit. I'll try 90. And as you can see, the servo is not moving at all. This is the middle point. I would recommend for you to write it down on the side of the servo with a sharpie. I'm gonna send 180 degrees to the servo so that you can see how it turns counterclockwise at full speed. Now I'll try zero and you should see how it turns clockwise at full speed. Thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one every Friday. Also, put in the comments below what you would like to see me build next.